long ago, there were people living in Babylon, which was later called Mesopotamia, which means place between two rivers. Today, we call that area Iraq. The people of Babylon were great astronomers. They would look at the stars each night and study them. They lived a long time ago when much of the information that is available today wasn't available to them. They had to come up with all these ideas. The Babylonians were very clever and they made many discoveries. One of their discoveries was about the stars. Because they didn't have a lot of street lights like we do, and there weren't a lot of tall buildings blocking their view, they could clearly see the stars. They noticed that every 360 days, the same constellations were in the same places. They thought that the stars went around the Earth in a great big circle, and the stars took about 360 days to make that whole trip. Today, we know it actually takes 365 days. The Babylonians probably knew that too, but they really liked the number 360 because it is one of the most divisible numbers. It is evenly divided by 60, which was the base number of their system. It can be divided by 12 and 3 and 6 and 10. So they took that 360 and they divided a circle into 360 equal parts. Look here, if you look at this Montessori protractor, you can see that numbers go all the way around. Let's count them. We'll count in tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200, 210, 220, 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 280, 290, 300. 310, 320, 330, 340, 350. And if we count these last little tiny lines here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 we'll get to 360. So the 0 and the 360 are on exactly the same places. Each one of these tiny little lines is called a degree. Do you remember when we spoke about measurement and we spoke about how you could measure anything as long as you had a number and a base unit? When we are measuring angles, our base unit is a degree. Let's look at some of the fraction pieces I have here. Here I have the fraction set for fourths. I wonder how many degrees one fourth is. We're going to place it on the vertex and line this side up with the zero. Huh. We can see that this angle is 90 degrees. One fourth is 90 degrees. But look here. Here I have our angle measure. I wonder if our fourth is a right angle or an acute angle or an obtuse angle. Oh my goodness, look at that! One fourth is a right angle. A right angle measures 90 degrees. I wonder how many degrees one third is. We're going to line up the vertex on the X and this angle on the zero. we can see that one-third is 120 degrees. 
Is it bigger or smaller than 90 degrees? It is bigger. Let's measure it against our angle measure. Yes, it is bigger than 90 degrees, so we call that an obtuse angle. All angles bigger than 90 degrees are obtuse angles. I've also bought the frame of six. In our fraction set of six, we have one, two, three, four, five, six sixths to make a whole. Let's see how big one sixth is. Put it on the X, line it up with the zero. Hmm. One sixth is 60 degrees. Now you know this in your brain. Is 60 degrees bigger or smaller than 90 degrees? 60 is smaller than 90. And we can prove that with our angle measurer. Look, 60 degrees is smaller than 90 degrees. So that means anything smaller than 90 degrees is an acute angle. I'm going to show you how to write the word degree. That is how we write the word degree. And we measure degrees from 1 all the way to 360. A complete angle is 360. Now if we wanted to write down how many degrees one third was, we could write 1 third equals 120. Oh my goodness, oh this is taking so long. 120 degrees, but look my paper wasn't big enough. But do you know, maths people like to find shortcuts for everything. They're a little bit lazy, they don't want to write out these long words all the time. So they've invented a secret code. Instead of writing the word degree, the special code they use is a tiny little circle that lives next to the number. Let's rewrite this in code. One third equals 120. Now I don't need to write the whole word. I'm just going to write the little circle. And that is secret code for degrees. So when you read that, you read 120 degrees. And we know we're measuring because we have a number and our unit of measure, which is a degree in this case. Let's measure some more. As soon as you get your hands on this material, I'd love you to measure how big all the fraction pieces are.